People are struggling, costs are rising, but incomes aren't keeping up. Research by Trust for London shows the majority of people who are in poverty are in a working family. Trabajo como cleaner. Los salarios de los cleaners en Londres es una miseria. Es miseria, es muy poco para el costo de vida de la ciudad y para el trabajo tan duro que se hace. I've been a career for 18 years. Rent in London is ridiculous. Everybody knows that. Since I started careering, me and um, me rent has gone up. It's quite quadrupled, whereas my wages haven't. I'm a minicab driver. Well, my level of income is very low. I'm having a lot of difficulties. To cover the high cost of living, people are having to work longer and longer hours, meaning they have less time for their loved ones. I have to work 50, 60 hours, so I don't have any social life. The amount of hours I'm putting in, right, is not paying me even, even minimum wage. Pay in my industry is very variable. It's quite hard to budget from week to week, and it's quite hard to find ways of saving money. Es muy duro, muy duro porque pues trabajo toda la noche, una vida muy sacrificada. There's a lot of other people who work in a zero hours contract and they don't know like whether they're going to have enough money to feed their kids the next week. Y ahora gano en London Living Ways, mi vida ha, ha cambiado bastante. El aumento de sueldo de 6.70 que cobraba hace un par de años, puedo trabajar un poco menos y darme un poco más de tiempo para mí y un poco de más de tiempo para estudiar y un poco más de tiempo para, para compartir. Ha cambiado bastante y ha mejorado bastante mi vida y la vida de mi familia. Trust for London, the Living Wage Foundation and others want to make sure that those who are struggling get paid enough to live on. One of the solutions is to ensure that employers are paying at least the real living wage. You can find out more on our websites. <laughs>